Hi guys, I'm back. Um, so as you can see, today's video is maybe not going to be a makeup tutorial, but it's kind of something different. Um, I have been doing the whole 30. Um, today is day 8, so I've done my first full week. So for those of you who don't know what the Whole30 is, um, it's basically 30 days where you try to eat nothing but whole foods, um, mostly proteins, fruits, and veggies. You're not supposed to have any grains, um, any dairy, sugar, alcohol, um, I feel like I'm missing something, um, and legumes. So like beans, rice, corn, things like that. So your options are somewhat limited. Um, but basically the idea of it, it's not a diet, although some people call it like the Whole30 elimination diet. Basically the idea is to kind of reset your whole body, um, get everything working better, um, your metabolism, your liver, your pancreas, like everything kind of gets cleaned out and starts working more effectively. Um, you cut down on all your sugar cravings and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so my cousin and I actually did this two years ago um i guess it was like may of 2015 i think we did it um and it was it was hard but not as hard as i thought it was going to be like i thought the cravings were going to be like through the roof um but it was really nice to have someone to do it with and we both successfully completed our 30 days and we did a little bit of reintroduction um, basically reintroduction is there's like a week or two afterwards you start slowly reintroducing those food groups that you've cut out and kind of see um, what things your body reacts well to, what things it reacts poorly to. Um, so for me, I know dairy was a big no-no. My body's not like that, and gluten was not the most comfortable. I know legumes like rice, corn, stuff like that. My body is fine with that. Um, and I mean sugar in general and carbs in general. I think your body just tends to feel more sluggish. Um, so basically, if you're interested in learning more about it, you can go to Whole30.com or um, read the book, It Starts With Food. There's so many books that she has out now, cookbooks and, um, you know, freedom from food and kind of why you're doing it. I really, the first time I did it, I listened to it on an audiobook, and I think it was super helpful for me because, like, there's definitely times where you're like, oh, I just want a macchiato, like, screw it all, you know mess up my whole whole 30 because I'm just I'm dying for that craving and I think if you read the book or if you listen to the book on audio tape um, I feel like it just gives you a better idea of like why you're doing it and helps you stay true to what you're trying to do so go check it out if you're interested um, so for me like I said today's day eight I know last time I would say and they always say kind of the first 10 days are the worst because your body is detoxing from all the sugar um, and you're just, that's when you have the most cravings. And then they say kind of day 10, you know, through the end of it, you feel really good. They even talk about this tiger blood, which you're supposed to just have so much energy and like feel fantastic. Um, so, you know, we'll see on that. I do remember when I did it before in the month, I, so you're not supposed to step on the scale really at all throughout the month, but I know, um, I did before and after pictures and I did a before and after on the scale. I had lost 13 pounds that last time I did it in a month, um, without even really trying. Um, I felt so great. Like I was waking up before my alarm clock went off and I was feeling super rested and just really good and energetic. So that's kind of why I wanted to do it again. I just felt like my body wasn't performing at its best and I just kind of wanted to do a clean out and feel better. Um, I'm going to Florida in about a month now, so it'll be perfect. I'll have kind of three weeks to finish this and then a week of like reintroduction of things. Um, I think I want to be more specific with the gluten reintroduction this time and just see how that affects me because um, I know dairy is not going to be a good one <laughs> so um, anyway so I just kind of wanted to share with you my experiences for the first week um, I'm excited I'm week week down you know I didn't know if I could do it I had tried again last year to do a whole 30 um, and I only got through about nine days I just wasn't in the right mindset for it I wasn't motivated I didn't have my why um, and I just wasn't like committed to it like I am now. Um, so, you know, you really just got to be in the right mind frame and set your, set your sights on the end game, um, and have a good plan. So for me this time, um, it's been a little bit different. I remember last time feeling like my hormones were all out of whack. The first week I feel like I could have cried at the drop of a hat, um, 
I think some of that is because of the hormones in some of the meats that you eat or we were eat or I was eating um, before because then when you switch to Whole30 they want you to really do grass fed, hormone free, organic meats and chickens and stuff like that. Um, and so I think that just detoxing from that the last time, like I said, I felt like if someone said hi to me I would have cried. Like it was just bizarre. Um, and I did cry many times the first week. Um, my cousin can attest to that. So this time since doing the whole 30, there's definitely things that I've carried through with me. One of which is I still always consume grass fed organic, um, hormone free meats. And so I feel like this time my hormones have been a lot more stable. I don't feel, I don't feel, um, emotional at all I guess you could say the only thing I really noticed was like the first two days I had that like super dull headache in the back of my head like constant for the first two days and I just felt like I couldn't focus or like I was just foggy as I'll get out for the first two days and then I would say kind of after that um I feel like I've just been feeling really good um so I've done a little bit different this time I was super not creative or like motivated the first week so I just kind of went back to some of my tried and true recipes like I made hamburger sweet potato fries um you know I did some baked chicken wings I did some just lemon garlic rosemary chicken um I did my favorite breakfast which is like some potatoes that I've fried up ahead or baked ahead of time and put in a container you put them in a bowl make some guacamole so avocado cilantro onion lime juice some salt and pepper um mix that up and you put a, like a layer of the guacamole on top of the potatoes and then you poach two eggs um soft poach them so that they're still like runny when you put them on top and just kind of the egg oozes all over and it's like the greatest um so that's kind of what i did i noticed day one i was like super hungry even though i had um packed a lot of things throughout the day for food. I just, I was so hungry. I ended up having dinner and then like a second dinner of eggs and sausage because I just was like so hungry and I didn't want to go to bed like that because I know that's not good. Um, I think it's interesting because, you know, part of what she says in It Starts With Food is like for me, I tend to eat out a lot because by the time I'm done with work, some days it's late and I'm like super hungry. I just feel like there's no, like I'm so hungry. There's no way I can go home and cook a meal. So I end up stopping and getting food on the way home. You know, whatever is unhealthy and whatever I come home and I eat it. And so she talks about how your body really is starving because you're not getting anything nutritious. And so your body is in this perpetual state of hunger because it's trying to tell you, like, I need nutrients, I need nutrients. And you're feeding it this crap. And so you're always in this cycle of hunger. And I noticed, and this, this happened last time too, and I notice it now, um, but that since I've been doing the whole 30, um, you know, I'm not hungry as much. Like I could pack a ton of things for lunch and I might only eat half of them um, because I'm just not hungry. My body is getting the nutrients that it needs now. I like normally I'd get home from work five, six o'clock, whatever, and I'd be starving to the point where I had to get takeout. Now I can get home from work. I can, you know, do whatever I want to do and, you know, cook a nice long meal and not eat until 7:30, 8 o'clock and be totally fine. So it's just very interesting, like how your body starts to change once you start giving it nutritious things. Um, so there's that. And like I said, I've just, I've been feeling really good and the headaches are gone. I've been feeling energetic this time around. I've added in some of my essential oils. So I'm taking a capsule in the morning, um, that has lemon, grapefruit, um, endoflex. Um, so the lemon is really good for like liver function. Grapefruit's really good for fat metabolism. Um, I'm doing peppermint, which is really good for like cravings and sugar cravings and appetite suppression. Um, Endoflex, which is good for thyroid support, and then Copaiba, which is like an anti-inflammatory slash kind of clears the pathways for those other oils to be more effective. Um, so I do a little capsule of those in the morning, and then I'm also doing a shot of the Ningxia Red, which is a Young Living product. Um, and it's just all kind of antioxidant berries and stuff like that. Technically, that has a little bit of sugar in it, which I shouldn't be doing, but um, for me, I'm sure that those sugars are natural from the berries and 
to me, the benefits of the Ningxia outweigh the fact that it has five grams of sugar. So I made the conscious choice this time around to add that in to my Whole30. Um, so that's where I'm at. This weekend was super productive for me. I ended up making a whole ton of meals ahead of time. I made like a um, spaghetti squash and meatballs, which I'll have for lunches for several days. I made some ribs and some homemade potato salad. Um, I made some... Um, I made an egg bake for breakfast, so I've got breakfast for the whole week, and then I've got just a bunch of other, like, fruits and veggies and things like that, um, which are really easy to take with me to work and on the go. Um, also, I've been trying to drink a ton of water, so I have my water bottle that I take, and I usually try to drink this and, like, I would say two or three um, of the 33-ounce bottles that I have, too, so... That's kind of my wrap up for week one. Like I said, so far I'm feeling pretty good and that's exciting. This morning I woke up maybe, you know, a half an hour before my alarm and I've been feeling great. So um, I'm really excited to see, hopefully I can just hang on for the next three weeks and, you know, it'll be it'll be a great experience. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Um, I feel a lot less like bloated already. I feel a lot thinner and I just feel healthier. So um, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll do check-ins the next couple weeks and kind of let you know what, what all I found on my second Whole30 journey. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And of course, if you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. That way you can be notified every time I upload a video. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.